Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. It is a blessing, it is an honor to be able to share time and space with you right here, right now, in this moment. So I have a message that I want to share with you guys. But before I dive into that, I'm sipping on this really amazing milky oolong tea that has just been giving me so much life lately. I think it's been my Friday night drug of choice. Um, probably not the best way to phrase that, but honestly, I just, it's the first thing that I gravitate to as soon as the sun goes down. I just know that it's going to give me all the life that I want and need to start my Friday night. So I just really want to encourage you and inspire you to get your own little cup of bliss or just something that makes you feel really warm, cozy, supported, and loved right now in this moment because that is honestly my intention for this message and showing up to, for you tonight. So I did get this intuitive message, this download earlier on today, but the divine is so interesting how it chooses to show up. Number one, it doesn't confine or contain itself to any one vessel or any one thing or any one timeline, right? So there'll be a series of events that might set the conversation or this message into motion. And when I am open to it, as I try to stay open to it and I receive, I receive in full and that fullness can last maybe a few seconds, a minute, days, weeks, it, it all depends. There's some messages that I've received years ago that I'm still actively processing, unwrapping them, unraveling them, decoding them, and just allowing them to live and move and breathe through my life in the way that they need to, in the time that they need to, however much time they need to take. So this is just another one of those messages that it's always interesting how it shows up, but I was just so open to receiving it. I wanna share that with you now. Before I do that, I wanna set the intention that you have peace. I wanna set the intention that you have discernment to know exactly where this fits into your life, if it needs to fit into your life at all. I'm setting the intention that it brings you clarity. I'm setting the intention that allows you to feel lifted and guided along your path. And I think that that is how spirit wants us to feel and how spirit, why spirit shows up or why the divine shows up for so many of us in these random ways because we're all really just helping each other and walking each other home. So let me start by saying that a friend, a new friend that I met actually from a recent Costa Rican trip, she actually reached out to me. She was like, listen, she called. She was like, yo, can we talk? And I was like, girl, absolutely. Absolutely. As I sat with it, we were just kind of discussing certain things. And our conversation was a beautiful one. I feel like any time anytime when you're sitting with a girlfriend and you're connecting, it just feels really good. It always feels really good. It feels like a warm space, especially when you find the right person or the right people. However, after the conversation went and passed, and we hung up, we said our goodbyes, even made plans for the future. It really sat with me. It sat with me. And I knew in my spirit that there were more, there was more to that message that needed to be uncovered. And for that reason, I knew that I would want to set some time aside, sit with the divine, meditate on it, and wait for the message to fall, fall together in the way that it should. And then I asked for clarity to know exactly who it was meant for, where it needed to go, whether it be for me, whether it be back to her, or whether it be here for you guys. And having said that, that's when the divine led me to, to go in the backyard, sit and vibe, and, and pull a little further. As I did, as I did, I started hearing and started receiving this powerful feeling of quiet. It's the quiet that happens when, you know when you like, you have moments where you cry and like after you cry, you feel so relieved. You feel like you, it hit that spot. You feels like you really surrendered something. There's a space, there's a space right after where 
spiritual strength really starts to take shape and take and take form what that space is is you're really you're entering into an energy of peace where you know you were heard you know you were seen you know your message was delivered to the ears of the divine to the arms of the angels you just know that you're in good hands now before that there was tension in the mind the body the soul things were at odds but once you had that moment that breakdown at the feet of the divine you know you were you were genuinely seen within that that's what this message felt like and i want to pass that along to you and i want to set the intention that that's something that you're able to feel with maybe without even having to cry okay so the divine showed up in my spirit and the message was remind them someone needs to truly be reminded of what they want because the energy or the people or the circumstances around them now do not reflect by any means the things that it is that their soul wants for them that they the things that they know that their soul is craving the things that they are working towards manifesting or things that they have prayed about in the past specifically but not exclusively to um, relationships we live in a society right now where there's been a lot of trauma we live in a society where many this current generation is spending much of its time healing from past trauma past baggage things that have been passed on to this present moment we're actively working on healing from that in the meantime the intensity of that can make us not disconnect from ourselves but begin to shy away from or protect ourselves or shield ourselves away from genuine connections and intimacy, even though that's the very thing that is that we want the most. This happens when people are undergoing tremendous stress, tremendous pressure, or when we're under constant stimulation. You, 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 send, you, you tend to want depth, but because there's so many people looking for something to immediately relieve the pressure that it is just to exist, just to show up, we, we will find that our society or people are prioritizing these quick, not lasting very long, not, no, no depth, no, no connection, because of pain that we've already lived through, things that we're not trying to relive. So there ends up being a wall, a block, a barrier, a disconnect. And the divine is saying that especially when it comes to dating and especially when it comes to the, to the pursuit of things that truly matter, make sure, remind yourself, or you are to be reminded that to go deep, to want more, to crave connection, to crave intimacy, to be vulnerable. Those are things that need to be in the forefront. They need to be in our eyesight, in our vision. And in our society right now, it's really easy to get distracted. It's really easy to get pulled away from that when a lot of energies right now are not willing to go deep, are not willing to be open to be authentic to be honest they're playing games so it's easy it's it's easy it's almost a defense mechanism to say okay if this is the game that we're playing then this is i have no choice but to play the game and if i'm if we're going to play the game i'm gonna play it well and i'm gonna win but this is where the divine shows up and says that no this is not actually what you want and it's gone on too long now before I even dive into that message further, I need to take a step back. And if you know me, and if you know my process, and you know how I show up, there's always a moment where I'm taking a step back, going into the past, before I even go into the present, and then move forward. But going back means that we get to pick up all that we need 
fulfill our, or fill ourselves up to the top, to the brim, so that we have what we need. We take what we need in order to be successful in the future and in the present. So having said that, I want to pause. I want to reconnect and I want to remind you in the shortest quick message possible that we only have this one life to live. This life is not perfect. And with it, pain is inevitable. Pain is something that is adjacent to great love. Heartbreak is something that goes side by side, hand in hand with great love and great purpose. And the divine is reminding us right now, the divine is reminding you right now that there is great love that is worth pursuing, that is worth seeking, that is worth searching, that you are meant to advance towards, that could threaten your feelings of safety in your heart space. You will be called to be vulnerable in a world that walks around with a mask and walks around numbing themselves, taking drugs and alcohol, prescription drugs, doing all these extra things, putting on a, a filter over everything to paint this picture of perfection and joy and levity and superficiality and this isn't bothering me when the whole world is doing that and you're the one person that seems because you know the depth of your soul you know the truth of your heart it sometimes seems like you're the only person who craves wants needs looking for genuine authentic connection and that can be really hard in a world that or with people who play around don't care to to treat each other with kindness and gentleness or generosity there's a defense it's easy to mirror that and to play that game but the divine stops you and halts you and says this isn't what you want this isn't what you want this isn't where you belong and sometimes in the pursuit of depth deeper connections, intimacy, fulfillment, joy, purpose, we get lost. Even in the pursuit of them, we get lost because the first thing that we meet are things that distract us. The first things that approach us are things that may not necessarily have good intentions for us. And because you put yourself out there, because you showed up in the world with a brave face saying, hi, you know, this is what I want. I'm here, I'm exploring. The first thing that you meet is this person who may not be moving with integrity. The divine is reminding you that to stay in that space, to try to encourage yourself through it, to linger in it, to trick yourself into not seeing the red flags, not hearing what this person is saying, not accepting it as truth. These are things that are prolonging you stopping you distracting you from moving away from those energies and towards the things that it is that you so greatly want crave and also deserve now going back to the very start of this message i said to you as quickly as i could that we only have one life to live and this life is not going to be always a pretty one it's not always going to be easy great pain disappointment is inevitable it's something that truthfully speaking i want you to prepare yourself prepare yourself to experience that but also know that great love moving with great purpose moving with integrity moving with authenticity it's worth it it's worth it's worth living through suffering from that great pain because as a soulful person from one soulful person to another soulful person that's you we can't we don't operate we don't live in superficial meaningful meaningless connections we don't vibe with that and to go deep and to want more and to want soulful connections it's going to have to hit a root it will pull up 
points and parts within us that may suffer, that may have experienced pain, that may make us vulnerable. But I have to tell you that the, the divine had already told you that it was worth it, that it was worth it, that it's worth it. There's a reminder to there's a reminder to go back home to yourself, to go deeper into the soul, to begin to ask and want more, maybe not necessarily from your current circumstances or the current people around you, because the truth is, is that for many, you won't find it there. It doesn't live there. It's like extracting blood from a rock. It's like pulling something from a place that it doesn't exist you can't get something that doesn't have the capacity to give you what it doesn't have and you you delay yourself from moving through the inevitable pain and the inevitable uncomfortability that will be brought up within you but will be worth it because to move through it to move through that and to move towards something is what it is that you've been wanting and craving. It just requires a lot of courage. It requires a lot of strength. And that strength is a tank. It's, a, it's an energy source that lives within you and it gets depleted more and more when you start to engage and interact and intertangle yourself in connections that don't have the meat, the sustenance, the life, the soul, the depth to give you, to provide, to reciprocate the amount of connection, passion, love, purpose that you have living, breathing that you embody. As I say that, I want to also tell you, maybe you've never believed it before. Maybe this is the first time you'll believe it. Maybe you do believe it, but you forgot. There are many, many people out there that want the same things as you. There's, you'd be surprised how many people want the depth of the connection or the path that has purpose to the same level that you do. Those people, those things, that place, that appointment, that job, that career, the way that you show up, those are things that are worth you putting yourself out. Those are things that are worth you pursuing those are things worth you you moving through the desert remember we were talking about that in my last video those are things that are worth you going and looking for striving for now when you find connections that are soulful that feed you that fill you up not all of them are going to last forever that is the unfortunate part the sad part but a very true part of being human. Not every single one of these connections, are they're not all going to last forever. Some of those things that you find yourself being called to, that the, the divine is calling you to go and look for them, they won't last forever. They might be temporary. And there will come a moment where you may have to say goodbye to them. And this is where... I'm always going to be honest with you and tell you that the path again is not always going to be the most easy and fun, but again, with great, with great purpose and great love, there simultaneously kind of hand in hand does come great pain with that. And I want to then tell you that the divine is reminding me to tell you that those things are worth it. They are so worth it. There are things that people who, places to go to, purposes and paths that you'll come across, that you're meant to live in and show up in, that have so much depth that when you walk away from them, your soul is going to miss them. Your soul will crave them and want to go back. And it will hurt to know that it was a moment, you gave it your all, you poured your heart and soul into it, and now you say goodbye. And it's so important that you feel that and that you experience that. 
those are the things that's worth it. On the flip side of that, don't allow yourself to interact and engage with things that complicate, that trip you up, that are playing games, don't honor you, set you up for failure, trick you, deceive you, lie to your face, manipulate, or maybe they're so brutally honest, but you don't want to receive what they're saying because it's not, you don't even want to start over brand new, fresh again. Those things are not worth it. So to stay in those spaces and to suffer through them is depleting the tank, depleting your strength, depleting your faith, and stopping you from being able to start over in a place where great pain is worth it, great path, great service to others is worth it. And will the pain be there? Maybe, yes. Sometimes it lasts long and sometimes you have to say goodbye. But find those things that make this one life that you have to live, find those things that make it worth it. Make that pain something that, yes, it might be heartbreak. Maybe, yes, it might heart, give you heartbreak and tear you apart, but you know that it was a great love. You know that it had insane depth and the luck that you have and the blessing that it was that you got to experience it makes it all worth it. And mourn those things as you should. Mourn those things. Build great community around you. Build great connection. Authentic, authentic community. Authentic connection. Move along with your path and your purpose. Be a beacon of light to others. Put yourself completely out there. But do not, do not allow yourself to fall back into stay in places that are plastic, superficial, harmful to you. They create pain? Yeah, they do. Do they create temporary comfort or temporary pleasure or temporary acknowledgement in a world where to even be seen is sometimes so difficult because everybody's yelling? Find the people, the places and things that when you whisper, they hear you and they understand you. That will always be worth it. So I know for many of you guys, living through heartbreak or living through trauma or migrating through suffering or pain is something that you might still be recovering from. But think about the relationships. Think about the people that you've lost that you're just like, that soul, per- the soul of that person is what makes it so hard to say goodbye because the connection that we had was so unbelievable, unbelievably special and rare. Did it last forever? No. Is it hard to say goodbye? Yes. But don't, but let that be the forefront of your mind and let that remind you that that is why we're here, here on earth. It's not going to be all joy pleasurable, fun, fireworks going off all the time. No. That honestly probably over time would be a little overwhelming. I don't know if that's just me as a Virgo saying that, but I just, it just, that sounds like a lot. Sounds like a lot. It's good in moderation. It's good in small doses, but lingering again in those spaces for too long is going to irritate you because your soul and your intuition and the divine and your angels and your guides and your ancestors will be like, you know you're not supposed to be here. You hear him saying stupid shit. (laughs) You know that's not your vibe. You know that drama is not for you. You know that they're taking advantage of you. You know that they're paying you too less. You know that they don't care about you. You know that they will replace you in a second. You know, the list will go on and on. The irritation that you feel staying in the places that it is that are superficial and that you know that you don't belong will de- over time continue to deplete the strength that it will take you to pick yourself up and move yourself on to the places where depth and connection and integrity and passion and peace and love, true love, unconditional love, soulful love is worth it. And if that means that you might have to live through some nights where you might feel a little alone and get uncomfortable, 
then so be it. Because the same energy that is making you uncomfortable is going to be the friction that'll get you up and out again, looking for the people and the places and the things that desire you, not on a flesh form, but on a soulful a soulful space because those are your people. That is your place. This is your purpose. You belong here. The divine has its signature all over that and says that, yes, this is for you. Yes, this is what you wanted. Yes, this is your prayers. And some of those things will be temporary and some of those things will last you your whole life. But either way, it'll be worth it. So I come to you now and I give you encouragement and I tell you that... Yes, in the moment, sometimes it's easy to interact and engage with things that you know won't last because they scratch an itch, they give temporary relief for the night, they put a slight smile on your face, they distract you from thinking about things, from feeling certain things, but more than anything, they stop you from really using your time wisely here on earth. And time is something that, honestly, we don't get back. There are a lot of people out there that are looking for a soul like yours. If I could say anything to you now, I would encourage you to put yourself continuously, because that's the thing, to continuously put yourself in new places where you will be found whatever that looks like. If you're looking for romance, if you're looking for love, if you're looking for a husband or your partner or a soulmate or whatever, go to the places that are, like I was saying to my friend, watering holes for that energy. If it's a man that you're looking for, go to a, a place that is ripe with masculine energy and show up in your feminine glory and allow them to approach you for example the gym boxing centers um crossfit you won't find me succeeding in those things i would show up and i would fail but if my intention was to find new energy and to find new connection then that's exactly what you're finding because that's my intention let's say it's your work then I would give a whole lot less of myself to an organization or a business that doesn't move in alignment or move in integrity with what I want and need and see for myself. I would stop trying to chase and pursue and convince them that I need a promotion or a job title change. And I would start pouring into myself or pouring into different studies or exploring certain different avenues and going on different adventures that reveal to me who I am or pour into the business that it is that I've already created or secured for myself or the path that it is that I know that I'm meant to walk down. Now, every single one of us is different, but either way, I think the message is the same. To have the faith to begin to prioritize filling your tank where you pull your strength from so that you can begin to start walking towards the right things, the right people, the right path. There is such a thing as divine timing and waiting for the right moment. And there is another thing as creating that moment for yourself, starting now and making this your time. And from that space, I set the intention that what you are looking for finds you, what doesn't serve you falls away, and that you know the difference and that you have the strength to move in the right direction. And that as you're moving along that path and as you're moving down or moving towards that direction that you have peace and that there's all these different examples of unconditional love that show up around you, 
that encourage you, speak life into you, give you a hug or whatever, connection, whatever. And that these are the memories that you're building your entire life from. To me, that sounds worth it. So thank you guys so much for spending time with me. I know this video is a little longer, but it will be meant for those that it was meant for. And for those that it's not, and for those that are passing through, I send you my love. I hope that you are well, of course. And um, yeah, until then, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And of course, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.